So what did they say about me? I was yelling that I was going to kill them? That's what was said? That was yelled. It was. Dude, this is going to be so fun in court. You guys are going to look What's up guys? I'm back with another one. Uh, another dumb criminal. These guys are dumb because they drive by yelling insults and threats at school children. But the dumbest thing of it is how cocky the one guy acts. He's like, his shit don't stink. He's just, uh, he's, he's doing you a favor by letting you arrest him. But anyway, here goes. In March 2023, several officers responded to an elementary school for a threats complaint in La Crosse, Wisconsin. A black vehicle with three occupants had driven by, yelling profanities at kids on the playground and threatening to harm them. The students reported the incident and they were taken inside the school. An officer then quickly obtained video surveillance, recognizing the suspect vehicle associated with multiple past incidents, including damage to property, theft, and trouble with juvenile complaints. License plate information was shared, and an officer later spotted the vehicle conducting a traffic stop. The driver was soon identified as a 19-year-old male named Hunter, along with his passengers, 18-year-old Alex and 19-year-old Brady. Due to the threats made in the history of these individuals, multiple officers assisted the traffic stop. He seems like his name would be Hunter. Spoiled brat. As they approached the vehicle, the individuals were observed reaching toward the center and making furtive movements. 58, uh, both front passenger, rear passenger are reaching towards the center. I don't know if they're buckling their belts or what. Can you music down, please? Can you roll your window down, please? Thank you. How you doing? Good to see your driver's license, please. For what? Complaint over at the school of threats being yelled out at the school kids. Good to see all your driver's license and IDs because it's a complaint from all of you. I don't have one. You don't have one? No. Do you have your ID on you? Front passenger, I'm talking to you. Do you have your ID on you? Can you roll your window down and talk to that officer? I'm trying to turn the car off. What's your first name? One second, let me finish the car. Brady. And a birthday, Brady. Don't reach in your pockets, please. What's your address, Brady? I know. You don't know your address? No. You don't know where you live? Do you live somewhere? Step out of the car for me. For what? So I'm asking you to step out of the car. Can I ask what kind of threats were made? Threats to the kids. That is not true at okay. all. Okay, well that's the complaint we've received. We're literally getting back from Madison. Here's the guy Sorry, smoke a us. What's your name, sir? Hey Alex, I'm Ryan. Um, were you guys over by um, was it Blessed, Blessed Sacrament. Sacrament a little bit ago? Uh, no, I don't think so. You don't think so? Do you know where it is? King and Losey, were you guys over there? Did you guys like have any interactions with the kid in the playground? Mm -mm. None at all? Mm -hmm. Okay, I was just coming back from my friend's court date. Oh, okay. Over the courthouse? No, he had court up in Toma. Oh, okay. We were just coming back from there and then... Hunter, why don't you go ahead and step out of the car for me, please? Brady, just stay in the vehicle, okay? Step back this Say, look, you can already tell. He can't be bothered to be held accountable. How dare the world try to hold him accountable for some shit he did. Stop right there. Anything on his no. gonna stick me? So you would have went by less of sacrament there. I don't know if you knew that or not. Oh, like, I'm not saying that you had any interactions. I'm just saying that. That's, that's where, okay. My strong suggestion is probably just change the attitude because it's no, not. No, this is bullshit. No, it's not. Yes, it is. We didn't do anything okay well your attitude isn't gonna help you so we had to complain people in this car were yelling at the kids in the playground that's why you're being stopped right now okay okay the kid in the with the hood up he he seems like a bit of a butthead nothing like his friend i mean he's uh he's caught up with the wrong dude and trying to i guess fit in or whatever by going along with him you're not one of the cool kids neither is that guy Step over this way, please. He can, he can come right here. We'd like to hear your side if there was like someone saying something to you first or something like that. This one. I like this one. He's he's kind of a hippie guy. I, I wouldn't go so far as to call him dumb, 
but he's just kind of going with the flow. I mean, he's he's the most cooperative out of them, the most truthful, honest. Um, if you can be honest after threatening a bunch of school kids. I met you before. Oh, yeah? I'm Sergeant Rossman. You recognize me? I don't think so. How do I know you? I don't know if I know you either. I was just asking oh. if I did. Yeah, I don't think so. You tell me what happened today over at the school. Nothing. We came back from Madison. We're going there for a court day because our friend's going to prison. Okay. And we're driving back, and now we're here to go pick up a friend from school. Okay. And where did you pick him up from? We haven't picked him up yet. We're about to. He goes to TC. Was there information that there was a ski mask involved? I'm going to pull him out. Yeah. Can I step over for me, guy? What's your name? Are there any ski masks in the vehicle that you know of? There's possibly one in my backpack, but I haven't okay. had it on. There's possibly one in my backpack, but I haven't had it on. Why would you have it? And you just admit to having one, knowing that one was used in the drive-by threats or whatever. So what caused you to go by the school over on Mosey? Because we're coming back from Onalaska. You want to just face the car and just put your hands up? I'm going to patch you for weapons at this point, okay? Okay, can I see it? I don't want to search your bag. I just want you to show it to me. I'll, ha I'll, I'll have him bring the bag here if that's right. We're coming this way. Okay. So what caused you to go all the way down and around and, and make a loop? Ma'am, I don't think you understand. We did not yell at any kids. You put your phone away, please. You can call me someone when, when we're done here, okay? Okay. All right. You're not answering my question. If you're coming to pick up it's him... It's Am I going back to jail? I don't think so. It is relevant. We okay. did not make any threats to any children. Why okay. would we yell at a bunch of kids saying we're going to kill them? Exactly. Why would you do that? You're just a punk. Yell at some men. Try that. Th that's a good question. That's a very good question. We want one of two things to happen. You're going to leave here no matter what, okay? You, you're either going to get nothing, and we'll see you later, or you're going to get probably a ticket, okay? Depending yeah. on the investigation. Like, I'm trying to stay Could you just, yeah, that's cool. You look like my dentist. That's why I recognize you. I swear. See, that guy, he, I think he's just a stoner. I mean, he's probably hanging out, you know, rich boys probably got good access to drugs. That, that'd be my guess. Definitely not a dentist. So, I'm trying to stay out of Did you yell out the window anything? No, I'm driving. Okay, did your passengers yell out the window anything? No. They yelled nothing? No. Did you drive down Losey? Did you drive down 24th? I don't know. We've been driving all day. We've did you drive down, hours. well, you would probably, know. What, we probably have, yes. We did drive. you go about down 24th Street or Losey Boulevard? Yes. yes. But, but you know what I'm saying? If something was yelled, let's just get to that so we don't spend here for an hour while an investigation is conducted over there. We got the call today worried about uh, kids and kids' safety. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if someone did it's yell something, just black. if someone did yell something, just just let's let's have out with it right I now. I didn't yell anything. Did anybody in the car yell anything? Thing. Yes, what? I assume which so. One? Which one? Losey for sure. Okay. Did you turn on to 24th Street? Where's that? Something happened. I wasn't there. We got other officers at school reviewing all the video. Yeah. Tell me what happened, man. Hang tight with Officer yeah. Scray here. It's the Is that one the street. School? Yep, on yes. the other side of the school. Yes. Okay. So if you're coming here to get him, what would cause you to go by the school? Well, first we're going to our friends Thomas, and then we went to Quitra to get okay. more gas, and then we came back and we're coming here. Where'd you stop for qu for gas at? Basically, the only thing that happened was. We drove by and there was a bunch of kids playing football in the road. Yeah. And one kid threw the ball to him and he dropped it. And we said he's bad at football. That's all that happened. The kid said he's bad at football? No, we said he was bad you at football. You said the kid was we bad at football. We did not threaten no one or anything. Okay. Honestly, for all this guy knows, that's probably what they said, what they did. I mean, he believes it in his head. I guarantee you it was a lot worse. That guy's like, oh, we just said you suck at football. Well, that was all it was. Maybe. I don't know. I don't remember. Where am I? What's my name? That's literally all we said. You're bad at football. So you went one. you went way out on Mormon Cooley Road, got gas. And then we're coming back this way. Yeah, we, yeah we're not going anywhere. We're not getting any cooperation either. So they did admit, to, um, one of them admitted that they did drive by there at all. Did anybody yell anything out the windows that would made them think that somebody was yelling they threats? They did not yell any threats. We don't got time for that. Did did you yell out the window? No. They claim not to know where Blessed Sacrament was, but they gave me the route, so it took them right there. So we do have them there, so. No. I'm driving. I can't be doing that shit. 
you can't yell while you're driving I'm I'm pretty good at road rage I do lots of yelling while I'm driving people can yell and still drive so we went turned around and we went back the way we came and they were all just around the teacher saying whatever they said I don't know okay do you know who I am probably not nope oh that's always the number one do you know who I am don't care you're a dumbass you're a criminal you're a punk just a straight up punk okay mm. <laughs> i've been trying to stay out of shit for so long mm -hmm. i do not need this okay try harder well here we are i know and i'm not trying to be here and i'm not trying to be rude but it's okay. frustrating yeah and you can get as frustrated as possible but we have as much as you want but we have a job to do we received that, a complaint and they had to take all these kids into the school because of the threats that were and made and i'm not even mad at you guys i'm just mad at whoever called the Police saying that we're trying to school officials. kids. School officials. Well, whoever's saying we're making threats, saying we're trying to kill them is. And you may. Mm, whoever's saying that is listening. No statements, no yelling, no nothing no, out. That is how fing outrageous, dude. Do you have any weapons in the car? No, I don't. I'm not allowed to have any. It was also discovered Hunter was currently out on four bonds and prohibited from committing any additional crimes while under bond. Hunter. I'd get you every time out on four bonds, misdemeanors, and no firearms is one of the conditions, and no drugs. Are you on, on probation? Bond. You're just on bond, no probation? Bond. No guns or anything in the car, other than that's going to look like a gun, no BB guns or anything crazy like that. I got rid of all my guns after I arrested the last time. Okay. Who yelled out the window at the kid? I don't know, I was playing music. Were you sitting there in the same spot you were, in the back seat, behind the driver? Yeah. Was there a fourth person in the car, Brady? No. You didn't drop anybody off from that time until we... Are you so dressed up today? I'm always It always looks good, oh. man. No, nah, there's no doubt. You remember me when I stopped you and Jade? Oh, you you didn't say you were going to get a gun or you ain't going to shoot him or something like that? No, I just graduated high school. That's weird. Sure. He said they made no statements, no threats, yep. no yelling, no nothing. That's what he said, too. But he did say that they had come back from Tolman. He does have a black mask in his thing, but he denied having it on. And all that you said to the kid was bad at football? Might have said you suck at football. Oh. Suck at football. Well, now we're getting okay. <laughs> So you guys were trying to drive him past the school. Kid dropped a football. You yell out the window, hey man, you suck at football. <laughs> and then what happened? We drove away. Hey, uh, Terry, here. Here you go. Hang on a minute. Go a little bit slower, those statements. 95 times 3. Okay. Yeah, pause, buddy. Um, they said it was all three of them. And these, he yeah, said these were the three that were in the car that went around. Okay. All right, they're comfortable. They're yeah. 95. 95? Yep. Hunter, I need you to go ahead and put your hands behind your back for me. I'm placed under arrest now based on uh, Officer Roden's request. No, you're being placed under arrest for disorderly conduct and jail jumping. Well, based on some statements made by the complainants, they must have uh, described you good enough where she's comfortable arresting you. Hold on, what's going on with this wrist here, partner? Like Is it broken or anything? Actually, just let's hold off on this then. You're under arrest, okay? We're not going to put you in cuffs, though. Do you understand that? Yeah. Okay. So I'm not, I'm not going to mess your wrist up anymore. Okay. Well, hey, you stand up, though. we got to just put the handcuffs on you. Just push your head behind your back, please. Walk right back to my skirt. Let me slide in there. Hope they feel good about themselves. F harassing me, do they? So, no way I can't just get like... Do you feel good about yourself? Harassing kids? Punk? Because yeah. I'm on yeah. bond right now, and if okay. I go back, I'm f I had court like two weeks ago, mm -hmm. and they said that if I get arrested again, my charges are going to be. They're trying to get it revoked right now, okay. but they said I have a chance to like get out of all trouble for the state. All right, well, I tell you what, let me go. Maybe don't go doing stupid stuff. Talk to Officer Roden, and I'll get you your answers in a little bit, okay? I don't care. Give me as much okay. tick as I want. Yeah. I'm just trying to stay out of jail. Okay. She spoke with the officer in the scene, okay? She said she got probable cause. I'm not going to sit and have her explain it to me right now. Okay, she's a veteran officer, so. Where'd that, that mask go? Okay, well, I'm going to take that as evidence, though. You need to get out, sir? I oh, thought, I thought we were blocking you. Student center. All right, you're good to go. Yeah, thanks for your yeah. service. Thank you. Just grab a seat for me, and then we'll uh, talk to Officer Roden and see what we got going on, okay? Upon searching Alex's backpack, several bullets and masks were found, but no firearms were located. One of the black ski masks had writing that said, no face, no case, F your homie dead ass. Okay, I was, uh, I was a PO in a former life, and when we did the intake to the parolees, 
we would explain to them about firearm prohibition and ammunition was included into that now whether or not they charge them with it or whether that's that's the case in wisconsin i don't know but we would hammer them for ammunition just as bad as we would a, we a weapon hey be careful there's a bunch of rounds in here there's a lot of them wait when you pulled over me and jade were you just waiting for us to drive by no i was actually on my way home someone saw the vehicle and we knew we had to talk to you guys and i was the closest one anything sharp in there it might poke me stick me anything like that no Hunter, when it gets about time, have when we have to move your vehicle, will you give us permission to leave? This is illegal, bro. I didn't do anything. Will you give us permission? Why am I being under arrest? I advise you, you're under arrest for disorderly conduct. When was I being disorderly? Don't argue with him. Just call a tow. Let him deal with that. Okay. When? When? Over at the school, I explained it to you. How? Okay. How was I being disorderly? Yelling profanities and threats. When did I yell? Where is the proof of me yelling at people? It's from multiple kids. But anyway, I can get like, like a sig bond out here because I talked to an officer a while ago and apparently I guess you guys can do that. It depends on what the alleged offense is. Unfor when? Unfortunately for you, unfortunately. When you were threatening kids, that's when. Unfortunately, it's the kids that had to hear this. I didn't yell at okay. any f***ing kids. I don't believe you. When it comes to time to move your vehicle, will you give us permission to move it? No. Okay. You might be going. I don't know. I'm just shooting sure you. you try to just do whatever you can and not yeah. get me in jail, I guess. I get you. Thing number two. Alex, there's a bunch of rounds in your bag. Yeah, I know. I guess I knew that was in there. There's no gun, though. There's not going to be a gun in the car. Mm. Okay. All right, sit tight. See if you just turn sit down and then fight your feet on there. All right. Uh, you good, Brady? You want the window down a little bit? No, but what's happening? What am I doing? Well, we're going to head over here. I'm going to collaborate with my partner. I'm not trying to go to jail for the first time for this bullshit. You never been to jail? Pick better friends, stoner guy. Nuh-uh. The worst ticket I ever got was an underage drinking. Okay. Guy's got everything in this bitch. It was, uh, they yelled out, and they said all three of them were yelling, so my f*** you, I'm going to kill you. They circled around the school again, I'm going to kill you, f*** you. So you threaten kids when you drive by, and then you circle around the block so just so you can threaten them again. These guys are serious punks. Good eyes uh, spotting this juke. Well, you know, when you Great sit in the office right all day, I kind of got to flex <laughs> once in a while. So. All right, Alex, so here's kind of the deal right now. So we're waiting on the canine for the vehicle because of kind of what happened. Um, I spoke to Tim Brunke. He said due to evidence of the offense, there's enough there because of the bullets and the threats to kill. Okay. Um, so we're going to search it. Thanks, Murray. Good job, buddy. Good job. Good job. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're a good dog. You're a good dog. Everything else is good, not Alaska? No. Oh, it's no. It's service week, so. Oh, sure. Absolute nightmare. Yep. The vehicle search yielded no weapons or other contraband, but a false ID was found in Hunter's wallet, along with half a bottle of tequila under the passenger. Uh oh. See. Just a bottle of Patron, Terry. Yeah. Hunter just false ID, yeah, so you can. A few days ago for ID, so that would make sense. Under that seat? The passenger seat. Okay. What they're observing on the camera and what they're picking up from school staff was the three of you had driven by the school and all three individuals had yelled something out of the window, something to the effect of, I'll f kill you or something like that. We're locking them. Okay. Probably Just based on history and the violent history that yeah, we've had. The violent history that we've had, the ongoing complaints, the just the, the ongoing, ongoing complaints. Have any more actually increasing from used to be uh, damaging cars with a brick or something at night. Yeah. All those things, shooting BB guns now and more weapons and gun calls. It just keep what did, uh, what, what did they have at the school? They drove by and they said all three were yelling out, suck my f you, I'm going to kill you. They circled around the school again and then they yelled out again, I'm going to kill you and you. Yeah, that would definitely scare. We'll just go DC the and then the, and then the DA can up it if they want. Didn't find from you find a lot of drugs? No, we didn't find any. Damn! So how did the dog hit? The dog didn't hit. So I just searched my vehicle. It was searched for evidence of the offense of the threats to kill with the ammunition in your buddy's backpack. Oh. 
So what did they say about me? I was yelling that I was going to kill them? That's what was said? That was yelled. It was. Dude, this is going to be so fun in court. You guys are going to look f***ing stupid. I bet they're not. I'm sorry that you think it's funny because you have What's well, funny? I said you guys are going to look stupid. Oh, okay. I love when they're going to show the video of me yelling at them, man. And I'm being sarcastic, by the way. Brady, how are we doing back here? It still sucks. With our investigation here, we've got a disturbance was definitely created, and some kids got pretty scared uh, with some grown adult men yelling stuff out the window at them. It's not something that we take lightly when it comes to this kind of stuff. The charge is disorderly conduct. We'll be going to jail with that charge, all right? What? Yeah. How am I going to jail for that? You can't just go spouting off, you know, whatever you want. Uh, scaring these little kids. Imagine if you're a little kid and uh, you had a, a car with full-grown adult men yelling stuff that they're going to, they're going to, yeah, they're going to, Full-grown, yeah. Man, that's a bit of a stretch. Yeah, whatever scared the heck out of these kids, you know what I mean? Yep, just make sure you behave through the booking process, you know, they got to, Take your fingerprints and your photo and this and that. Is this going to be like the Walmart mug shots? I don't know anything about the Walmart thing. Well, they just make you stand up against the wall and smile at the camera. Oh, yeah. At the jail, Hunter persisted in being a Class A smartass and wouldn't take the incident seriously. Oh, no. What citation am I getting? Uh, false ID and... Uh, false ID? Yeah. How's that false ID? ID in your wallet. It's not yours. Throwing the guy book at me, aren't you? Doing my job. Your job is harassing people. Well, if you feel this is harassment. I do. I honestly do. Okay. I'm sorry you feel that way. Nah. Yeah. It's not happening. All right, brother. We'll grab it. Lady. One leg out. Stand no up. Uh -huh. You said this is your first time here? Yeah. Daddy, what's up? Actually, it's sitting over here on this first little gravity, chair man. on the YouTube chair. Thank you, sir. Now that I'm tired of this Miley Cyrus motherfucker right here. Have a seat. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am. Zero? Zeros, yeah. Did they give him the smallest shoes ever? <laughs> <laughs> what the? Give them the biggest shoe. And I need your opinion of what? No, it's okay. Whereas, how am I going to get you a little more trouble? Alright, come on down, please. I'm going to explain it to you one more time. I have to ask you serious questions. Either you answer them yes or no, we'll be done. We'll just take you back to the cell, and you can sit for a few days and think about it again. Your choice. As a result, Hunter was rewarded with felony making terrorist threats, party to a crime misdemeanor counts of disorderly conduct, party to a crime, and bail jumping times two. I'm betting old Hunter dropped that tough talk as soon as he got to the pod. Just an observation. He was also cited $780 for underage drinking and the false ID. Alex and Brady earned themselves felony making terrorist threats and misdemeanor disorderly conduct. Hunter and Alex's cash bonds were set at $5,000 and $2,500, while Brady was released on a $5,000 signature bond. But it seems that didn't stop them. A few months later, they were all arrested again on felony charges, including identity theft and retail theft. They'll learn eventually, in one way or another. That's all I got, though. Like, subscribe, comment. Uh, hit the notification bell and we'll see you on the next one